Welcome back to Headbangers Ball, Marilyn Manson US Tour Special. And uh, we just enjoyed a great video there from Nine Inch Nails, Head Like a Hole. And uh, talking of Nine Inch Nails, uh, Trent Reznor is somebody that Marilyn and Twiggy know very well because he produced their new album, Antichrist Superstar. So, um, Marilyn, uh, I just wanted to uh, put it to you that um, working with such a great musician um, like Trent must have been a very satisfying and also you know rewarding experience do you think that you allowed um his influence to come through a bit more on this record and also he co-wrote some songs with you didn't he yeah we uh approached this one more uh, open-minded we uh had a lot of songs that were written on the road twiggy and i and uh we wanted an outside opinion and uh our guitar player left at the beginning of making this record so you know, Trent plays guitar too, so every now and then if he had an idea, so it came in. We were, you know, in the past, uh, the songs were songs that we'd been playing live, so they were kind of set in stone. Uh, right. But this album, we wanted to approach kind of like the White Album by the Beatles and just anything goes. So, right. so yeah, no it worked limits. Out good. Yeah, it worked out good. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, actually, you just mentioned you had to get a new guitarist. That was Zim Zum. So um, how come Zim Zum didn't get a celebrity and serial killer name <laughs> well he was uh, more of uh, joined uh, Antichrist Superstar in some ways uh, that was uh, Dungeons and Dragons character's name oh, right. <laughs> and, and uh, he just transferred it over to the band that would be a good trivia question right there what does Zimzum mean I don't know the answer to that one it's, a, it's an old religious term I think yeah it's, Yeah, because uh, I thought today I could be called Alanis Ripper. Do you think that's good? Ripper by Judas Priest. No, like Alanis Morissette and uh, Jack the Ripper, you know. I was just like getting into the Marilyn Manson vibe. All right, we'll go with that. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, let's get serious here. Now, the lyrics on the album um, would suggest that you're perhaps a negative, you have a negative outlook, you're very angry. Where does that anger come from? Um, did you feel like an outcast when you were growing up? Well, I've always felt on the outside looking in, but uh, it's, it's easiest to express all of your emotions, whether it's anger or love or anything in between in what you do. So, I mean, I, I don't think um, everything that I do is angry, but, um, you know, that's definitely where I put my anger. Yeah. So um, anybody with any bit of intelligence has got to be pissed off because... If they see how things are in the world, they're not going to be happy with it. Absolutely. Yeah, so. I have to say that you make the best videos. All your videos have gone down very, very well at Headbangers Ball. Um, they're so artistic, and you. they just you guys just look great. Um, is that one of the most um, kind of another of the enjoy things that you really enjoy um, about the expression of Marilyn Manson in the videos? Uh, film and things like that are really my first love, and um, so when we get to make videos, it's um, it's just as important as a song to me. It's not a commercial for me. It's it's a whole work of art on its own. So um, we plan on working on a movie and things like that in the future. So fantastic! Yeah. Keep that up. Excellent. Okay, well, talking of videos, uh, we're going to check out Marilyn Manson's breakthrough video um, from the EP "Smells Like Children." We're going to check out their cover of the Arrhythmics.